So Planned Parenthood allegedly alters abortion procedures and pricing to meet the demands of customers. That revelation in a fifth disturbing undercover video that was shot and edited by the Center for Medical Progress. The woman in the clip that you're about to see is the head of research for the Gulf Coast pa Planned Parenthood and may be breaking the law by delivering full fetuses for research. Listen to this closely. So if we alter our process mm -hmm. and we are able to obtain intact fetal cadavers, then we can make it part of the budget that any dissections are this and splitting the specimens into different shipments is mm -hmm. this. I mean, that's, it's all just a matter of line items. It's all just a matter of line items, she says. Nebraska Senator Deb Fisher is on the Commerce, Science, and Transportation Committee, and she joins us now. Senator, welcome. Good to have you here. It's nice to be here this morning. Thank you. Your reaction to this latest video? I think many Americans are finding these videos to be alarming and appalling, and the more we learn, the more disgusted we are by what's been happening. When we look at uh, the videos and hear these people discuss manipulating the unborn child so that they can abort this baby and then sell body parts to improve their bottom line. Um, many Americans are really, really alarmed by this. All right, so the vote to defund did not go the way that you had hoped. What's next? You know, that vote was disappointing, but I was very encouraged to see that we were able to have a bipartisan vote on it, bi bipartisan support. What's next? Uh, we're going to move ahead. The Judiciary Committee will be holding investigations. I believe the Finance Committee here in the Senate will also be holding investigations. Uh, we need to get to the bottom of it. It looks like laws were broken, again, with the manipulation of the procedure of the, of the unborn child and then the selling of body parts. That's against the law. That is uh, misuse now of federal dollars when we give those dollars to an organization that breaks the law. We know that Planned Parenthood says just the opposite. They say that they've not done nothing illegal. Uh, so it looks like a fight and a showdown on this and an investigation to be sure lies ahead. But in the meantime, there is the political debate over this. And Democrats have begun to say that you all are launching once again a, a war on women, that this is a women's health issue, that they want that money protected, that funding protected to Planned Parenthood, because they say that the large part of their business, uh, and this is, you know, very controversial and debated, goes towards women's health. Well, that's a classic attack from the other side, you know, that there's a war on women. The bill that Senator Ernst introduced, in which I have co-sponsored along with many other Republicans, and as I said, it was a bipartisan vote, this is a bill that redirects that money, and it redirects it to community health centers. In Nebraska, we have six community health centers. We have 36 clinic sites all across the state, from the panhandle to the metropolitan areas in our state. Those are the centers that truly reach out and meet the needs of women and their health, their health needs. That's where the money is going to be redirected. It's not cutting any funding for women's health. It is prioritizing women's health and making sure that we can meet the needs of people all across my state and all across this country. I think what we're hearing are those same tired uh, uh, comments from the other side where they like to say there's a war on women. There is no war on women here. But, this but, is not an issue you, you that's pro-choice or pro-life. Senator, you can bet you're going to hear a lot of it. And you're going to hear that, that you're twisting their words in terms of uh, the percentage of abortions that are done at these clinics versus the amount of women's health that's carried out uh, at these clinics. What's going to be your answer to all that? Well, my answer is the American people now can see for themselves what's been going on. We can see these videos, not just the edited version, but the full-length version. It seems to get worse and worse with every video that comes out. And Americans as a whole are very upset by this. As I said, it's not a pro-life issue. It's not a pro-choice issue. This is an issue that all Americans really are getting hit in the face with. And they're taking a stand on it. And they want to get to the bottom of it. And by using those tired phrases, is like war on women or these extremists are doing it, you know, that's not going to work. Let's look at who's the extremist here. All right. Senator, thank you very much. You bet. Thank you.